So we're in trailer 48 here at Haven and Moor. Don't, don't tell them where we are. Yeah, well, they're not going to know until it's over anyway. Okay. Because we're not broadcasting live. That's all right. So that's cool. No, we show up anyway. And we're with Max Explosion, <laughs> me and Dan, uh, Rock Poser, and our fellow horseman, Jimmy Bell's in the house! I'm here! Yes! He came <laughs> to my backyard! He promised he would. <laughs> okay, cool, I'm guys. Out. <laughs> <laughs> And we got Chris and we got BJ, and it's, it's Friday afternoon, guys. Excellent. It's yeah, it's a better day than Friday. It's be much better day than yesterday, man. We come in in a pouring rain or freezing cold. Now at least the. Uh, I'm they, glad you guys took care of the weather for us today. You're welcome. Yeah, you're sure. welcome. <laughs> well, you know, this, mor this morning it came out when we, when uh, before Thomas, our road manager, came over. He came over uh, to get uh, BJ to do because they wanted him over at the club, and uh, it was sunny. As soon as Thomas walked outside, it started pouring rain like crazy again. I'm going, what is it? You know. Maybe it's Thomas. We are. Don't forget. Don't forget. The UK is kind of bordering on the Arctic Circle. We get all kinds of shit over here. Yeah. So we have had an awful lot of rain this year. A ridiculous. I think it's been the wettest for how many years? Uh, Twenty-five years. No, keep going. So like two hundred years. Is it really? Yeah, yeah. I saw that on the news. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's yeah. it's been mad. There's places south of here that are so flooded. They were worried about the clubhouses because yeah. they're flooded and they're pulling up the floors. I saw that. It's so. shocking. We've had some terrible, terrible weather here. But it's sunny. It's glorious outside. I can it see is. blue sky through uh, through the through the curtains here. And <laughs> through the, through our drawn curtains. <laughs> yeah, we have got to keep the curtains. We, we have to keep our melty power. Jim yeah. will melt if he sees the sun. He melts. And there's, and there's also the fact that you know you, you guys are superstar rock stars, and, and we don't want people knowing where you are. And don't forget, Jimmy is also a domestic goddess. We must we must bring that in. This yeah. This, this if you if you ever seen this man washing dishes, I'll tell yeah. you. Yeah. Oh my God. He's the fastest dishwasher in the West. I am. I, yeah. I, I, I went dishwashing school. I took a lot of, uh, you know. Was that I, New Haven? I graduated top of, top so, of my so class. Right. Obviously, because you're left handed as well. Is it like a different technique you have to use for washing dishes from, say, maybe a right handed dishwasher? I'm not telling That's my secrets. That's a euphemism. It, I, I, you know, if I, if I let out the left handed secret about everything, the whole, the whole world's going to want to be left handed. So, uh, I, it, I, it's, I, it's, there's certain things we must keep secret on this. Yeah, it's, it's me and Tony Iommi are in contact with yeah, yeah. you talk about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Possibly, possibly. <laughs> you and Tony are the only two men that can actually make females ejaculate. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's an honor, <laughs> I believe. So, look, guys, welcome, welcome to my backyard. Welcome to my backyard. It's great to have you in Wales, finally. It's great to thank, be here. Yeah, thanks for having us. Well, you're welcome, guys. It's, uh, one, of the, one of the highlights of the weekend is, is going to be seeing you guys do double duty, and you could have been doing triple if we got the slot last night. It is a crying shame, I must admit. We are gutted that obviously Max Explosion the, are not right? on the bill. Well, certain there may be a band or two that has an accident. <laughs> yeah, we could. We're we working on it. There's track doors being made as we speak. <laughs> <laughs> I, some of the amplifiers are pretty tall. There could be a band that might be up doing a sound check and something. Boom, boom, yeah, boom, something boom. accidentally falls over. I don't yeah, know what you're talking about, but slippery know. floor syndrome. Something. Like hey, that. we're happy. You know, we're we're happy to be able to play you know uh max max explosion is going to be continuing the europe tour at, in a couple days yeah once robin leaves and we do appreciate the interest that's very cool. yeah i mean we we uh i mean granted we would be love to play this festival you know we're going to be very very pleased to go out and play through europe what we have left of the tour and we got we got another four weeks of the tour going so we're going to be out there quite a bit and uh Right, and if you don't understand, the whole thing goes, House of Lords is playing with Robin Beck for our first part of our tour. The second part is Max Explosion opening for House of Lords. And if they don't understand so, that, Max Explosion is basically it's House, of Lords. House of Lords without James Christian singing. It's right. where Chris is doing all the stuff. Yep. So we kind of come as a uh, really compact unit. You know, we could, you know, every time, every time a project comes up, with the exception when, when BJ and Chris had to go to Dokken, you know, um, but uh, I mean... Uh, when a project comes up, we all try to hone in on. We on can't it. get rid of each other. Yeah, we can't get. We're, we 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 have a ba you know we a, a certain working team so you know times. so we we try to involve something to do the devil's contract that sort of thing. Yeah. Yeah, like yeah. in other words, if a singer comes and, and is looking like you know for uh, songs like some famous singer, I would get together with these guys. You know, we'll get together and write a bunch of songs for that guy. You know, that's how it works. It's and, like we, and not get paid. Right. That's how it goes all the time. But it's about the music. Not getting <laughs> do, do, do you find then that the the promoters and the club owners, when they realise that Max Explosion are you guys, and then you've got James on the end to make up the House Lords package, do they think, Jesus, we're going to get them so cheap? And then you say, Well, hang on, we're doing double duty. That means you've got to pay us double. Well, well, that would be nice. 
Oh, it doesn't work that way? Well, I, I mean, we're Some, the places. Let me say, sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. It was a bit of a cluster yeah. mess. Right. I don't want to say fuck. You can say fuck. Oh shit. Yeah, no, don't, yeah, don't oh, say shit, fuck. Said fuck. It, it, it we'll be in trouble of, if you say fuck. We, we, we added on Max kind of at the last minute. Yeah, yeah. right. So it's kind of like, you know, all messed up. Otherwise, we'd probably be on this bill. It's still pretty new, too. That's, you know, we haven't been around that long. Yeah. We, we're but you've got to be pleased how the reaction to the album's been. Yeah, Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. It's fantastic. Uh, we're, we're really. We're sorry. actually kind of like surprised. Well, were, you, were you sort of maybe. As though you guys have been in the business so long, maybe a bit nervous of how people were going to react to the album? Well, I, I'm personally really nervous because I sang backups for everybody, but I've never been the lead guy. Yeah. And look at the shoes I got to fill. Sure. I got James Christian, Don Dockin, Mike Vissera, Jeff Scott Soto. Yeah, so no pressure. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? So I just do it. I always best, told him there's only eight, one place to go up. So. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, if you can transcend those guys, and certainly with James, I mean, uh, he, he I don't know if I would call it transcending. <laughs> well, yeah, you, you, go, I mean, you go, you go, right, you go flying by him. It's like the the, the the maneuver in Top Gun, isn't it? You put the brakes on, they go flying by, and you can just take him over. Do you know what I mean? Let's, yeah, let's, let's talk American movies. Yeah. <laughs> Chris does a great job with the vocals. He, to yeah. he totally, he totally Thank was you. got uh, really. Uh, surprised? Not, not surprised. I didn't. Not that no, we didn't think it, Chris could sing. It just it was amazing how how easy. it came out, yeah. and and yeah. Uh, and the response is good. And uh, you know, because of the fact of how much we play, I, I'd say like ninety to you know ninety nine percent of the time, you know, Chris is always right on live too, which is which is a big deal, you know, because it's like that's tough to do night after night after night. Well, you know? Chris, it comes like no effort for you at all. It just appears that you just get in there. I swear you don't warm up because you still got that tone. It's Maybe. really funny. That's such a lie, but go ahead. I, really? I, I'm really I curious. Mean, that's this, that's this is what I'm saying. Because I mean, I, I haven't been singing lead very long. Like I've been singing backups for probably ten years or but so, that's something good like that. Yeah, of course. I mean, it, it helps to you know you learn how to sing with other people. They teach you things. I've been trying to learn, and I take opera lessons now at, at really? home. Yeah, I mean, not that I'm trying to sound operatic, but I'm no, just, just trying to the high vocal training. Yeah, yeah, and learn how to do this. And it, it's like I, I've started the lessons since we recorded the record. Okay. So it's like, I can't wait to do the next, because I just feel like my voice is so much better than the record now. So I'm like, I'm real excited. Well, that's cool. I've, I'll let you on a secret. I'm, I'm actually going to be starting vocal lessons myself. Really? Because I had an audition a couple of weeks ago. Did well, I, I know yeah, some guys, did, yeah. if you want to make a record, we, we tend to do that. So give yeah, us a we'll call, make, you know, yeah. we'll make a record. We'll make a record for We'll be your backup band. <laughs> oh, man. But that's the thing. We, <laughs> we all, you know, we all have our own studios and we did the record ourselves. And that's, that's you know, we've learned over the years that we, you know, everybody has their own studio. We can do our wave files and... and the, the, one, the, the one great thing about Max Explosion is we're a self-contained unit. Mm. Very self-contained. We, 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 we're not relying, we're trying not to rely on anybody doing anything for us. Yeah. We're, right. we're trying to do everything... You know, if if somebody drops the ball, if somebody says they're going to do something and drop the ball, we don't want it to be like, ah, oh, you know, it's got to be like, right, you know, we're, gonna, fault, we're moving you know, forward regardless. Right. Yeah. And because you know in this business how many people are doing that. You know, they, there's this guy saying he'll do this, this guy says they're going to do this, and none of them do anything. A world and, of prom broken promises. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, uh, Max Explosion that's so far has, title. you know, been yeah, doing it. All right. I'm painting that. All right. Okay. Let's, get, get that. That's, 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 that's your first single. There you go, Jim. Yeah. World of Broken Promises. I'm going to write that. <laughs> that's, that's your first single. <laughs> there, I see. No, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be taking the, taking those lessons after the, after the audition I had the other week. I'm definitely going to be doing that. Well, of course, being Welsh, you're halfway there. Well, yeah. I, I can sing, but I can't sing. Well, let's hear you. No, 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 no. you got to do that. You have a mankini. you got to sing. Come on. I'll be singing in the mankini later. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to be running it. When, when we'll Robin be crying, the rest of us. When Robin's on stage, I'm going to be running across in my bra. I'll tell you what, the we'll grab the microphone, microphone, go in the shower, and we'll mic, we'll mic you from the shower. Let's see what you can do in there. The acoustics are great. I can do it. I, I had an audition with a, with a touring band, and the guys have, have worked with Paul Shortino recently, and uh, Priscilla yeah. Presley were, was out there, and I managed to get an audition. I, just, I got treated like a rock star, walking around the Park Lane Hilton in the middle of London. I've never been to the place, and they didn't. They, none of the staff knew me. It was quite funny. Uh, it was the day of the awards, wasn't it? Uh, I got walked in and it was like, oh, oh, yes, you come with us, would you like a glass of champagne? I understand you're here for something very important. And I thought I was one in a line of, of people. Turns out I was the line. Nice. So That's that very was cool. pretty cool. Uh, and it, I've had a, that was a noisy bastard thing. 
it's pissing down the rain now. Um, yeah. I, I had a call from the guy that owns the uh, the company today, and he said, well, we're gonna we're gonna have two two or three different versions of this band going around. I said, well, am I in line? He said, yeah, yeah, you're more than in line. So just, so I, I very nice. Yeah, I've got That's to have cool. the lesson. September, October time, it's gonna kick off. I think. Did There's you, the rain. Did you notice how he dropped in the little award? I yeah, got an award, guys. Well, well I, I for one, two well, weeks hold ago. On, hold on. He won an award. He second K time. Second Pure Rock, rock DJ, DJ of the Year. Oh, nice. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. I, I was the first ever winner of this award, and I am now a uh, second time winner. So I had a year off. But it qualifies me for a Sony. It does, for a Sony award, and that's, and a, bit, Sony, that's a big Sony deal. Award's a big deal right now. That is a big oh. deal in radio. Congratulations. Nice. Sir. Congratulations. We're proud of you, We're hanging out with royalty now. No, we, we are. are. <laughs> no, no, Welcome no. to our trailer. Hop here, have exactly. a cheese and cracker. <laughs> <laughs> We don't mind you drinking the wine now, okay? <laughs> that's cool. We, 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 won't, we won't charge you for that bottle now. That's great. That's fine as well. That is proper pissing down rain. That is yeah, uh, that's 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 hail. Yeah, that's, that's proper rain. That's hailstones. Yeah. Well, it seems hailstones. bizarre, Jimmy and Jim, um, that we're doing a three horsemen show. Yeah. As well. We just have missing friend Bruce. Bruce. We said we were going to do this. Yeah. yeah. We said that we were going to get the. We and I know he was December. really pissed about the fact we were going to do it as well. I know. Because he wasn't involved. It would have been nice if he could have come over wow. too. That would have been great. Of course, Bruce is not on PhD anymore. No, no we don't know what I, I I found out from Terry about that, and uh, I I haven't uh, talked with Bruce or anything. So I guess when I get he's back, he's got I'll some stuff on. going on though. Yeah, that's good. I I, I, I was keeping abreast of some of the stuff he's been. Holy shit! It is hell. Yeah. There oh, it is. Oh my god! It might as well be snowing as well. Fuck it. <laughs> this is insane. It was just beautifully sunny out here. Well, we've to Wales, little, four yeah. seasons in a day. Yeah. Well, this will not. Regardless of what happens with Bruce, it will not stop us doing more four horsemen shows. Oh no, Bruce is right up that's, for that. That's, that's for certain. Yeah. Uh, with the Max Explosion um, phenomenon as it's become, do you find that that uh, you're getting more attention across in in Europe than you would maybe at home? Because I I think you're with the, with the tour coming up, the remainder of the tour, um, that you're probably going to find yourself spending more time this side of the Atlantic than at home. I think so. I, I think, think this so. is like our introduction. Yeah. You know what I mean? In a way, like right now, it's still, I mean, what, we've been doing this about a year? Yeah. It, it's it's real new. Well, well I said to you guys, know Nightbridge said, you know, you will go down a storm in Europe. Because it's, you know, melodic rock in Europe now. It's, right it's right huge. Street, yeah. yeah. Well, that's that's really encouraging to hear. I, I mean, for us, what's funny is you're talking about the, the cover bands and stuff. Yeah. it's That's what we wanted to do, is just make a band we could work in <laughs> when we were off tour. Yeah. yeah. And then yeah, Max started as a cover band. You know, we weren't real serious about it no. until well, you know, Jimmy's got a riff. And we're too lazy. We need that. We didn't learn one song. <laughs> That's what I. Nah, we're, we're, we're too. Lazy. We're too lazy. Is that funny? We're, we're not lazy. Like, we're not too lazy to write our own songs, but we're too lazy to learn cover songs. That's <laughs> yeah. what. It, that's <laughs> what <it> <laughs> so you're covering this? Oh, whatever. No, we were just. We we're going to come out and do some uh, dock and stuff. And we we're just going to come out and do some trash stuff, maybe like LA Guns or, or Faster Pussycat, things like that. Where I think we're. we're yeah, that's what we're talking about. Okay. Anything, you, know, you know that, that type of covers just and then, to do uh, something different like and that, then uh, like, we right. came you know we got together and rehearsed and we just started writing songs like we always we wrote know. beat around the book crazy. actually yeah. you know what happened was you guys sent me the music for devil's locomotive a, yeah. a lot of times what happens is jimmy and bj will work together and they'll, they'll send me guitar and bass or guitar and drums and i'll come up with lyrics for things and originally like this i don't mean to backtrack so much but originally the, the way i ended up singing for this was we were doing a sound check in budapest with house of lords and I started singing lead on one of the songs we were playing, and James was backstage, and Jimmy goes, "Who's that singing?" Yeah, it's like you gotta sing, you gotta sing for us. So now, <laughs> so now I'm like, now I, now I'm starting to want to. I'm like, I want to do this. So they okay. sent me some music, and I did all the words and lyrics for Devil's Locomotive. I just went off, I went crazy because I wanted to prove myself. <laughs> when we get together, and when we get together, right for House of Lords, we get we present James with about. 20 to 22 songs every record okay uh so we'll you know we'll you know and then he'll you know maybe pick 10 11 or you know nine whatever you know but you know somewhere in that range 18 to 22 song so what we do is like now we have vehicles we have a, another vehicle way where we're when whatever he used to pick you know uh, the rest of the stuff would just sit on a computer i now we have a vehicle for for us to weed through what's what's really if good for like, Max Explosion. We buy, it's not it's yeah, not it's like not. we're using secondhand stuff. No, no, right? but I'm saying if there's something that fits Max Explosion, 
and we we hear it, it's it'll be good. And then we're writing uh, uh, all new right. stuff I on mean, top of some, that. Too. What he's trying to say is some of the songs on Forever were kind of done that way. Yeah, because we right. had them. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but well, why, why leave things in in the background? As, as Jim was saying, you know, eighteen twenty two songs. You may pick ten to twelve for right. the House of Lords. Right. You've got eight or ten languishing. Right. They've got to be done with something you could sell them on to whoever you want, I guess. Yeah. But why not play with them yourselves? They're your songs. If we like them. Yeah. If we like because them. Because what's happening over time. voice is different than James. Right. That's, yeah. And we yeah. figured out what it is that we're kind of directed towards now. You know, we've kind of figured out our filter. So if we get a Jimmy Bell riff. BJ and I will take it and put it through our thing. We kind of know how that's going to sound. Or if BJ comes up with something, Jimmy and I will put it through our, you know, like that's... And it seems to be making a certain shape now. More than... And the lovely thing is, you're not not beholden to somebody else who's writing your songs. They're your songs. Absolutely. They're our songs. Absolutely. There's no outside writers, none of that. There's none of that. There's also no one telling us what we can and can't do. Yeah. Which... (laughs) Yeah. You don't really want to give me this. So if we that suck, it's on us. <laughs> <Exactly. laughs> so far, so good. There's, there's, there's no suckage. No, but you know what well, I mean. Yeah. It's, it, it's a little more pressure that yeah, way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Versus it calling up, I don't know, whoever, Mutt Lang. I know, we want to buy some songs. Right. Yeah. And of you course, know? you know, I mean, we're, we're, I wouldn't say in competition with, but the, the other bands that are out sound so great. I mean, everybody that's here sounds fantastic. Mm. We recorded it ourselves. We mixed it ourselves. We mastered it ourselves. This is all like... We've been doing this a long time, but still, the type of bands that we're trying to be in the same arena with are, are awesome. So yeah, it's a big thing, to, you know, big order to, to fill. But do you find doing everything yourself that there is a danger you can't be uh, critically independent, maybe, as much as you need to be? Or can you separate yourself well away That's from... That's absolutely a great question, and that is always a danger of yeah. it. However, BJ and I are so opposite and how we think he's such a great like him and I'll be on the phone for hours and days and months about songs about the ones we're working on he's a stickler for production for you know op, this backup vocal isn't right here this isn't right here there's too many things going on in this yeah it's great <laughs> it is. It, it's so valuable to have he just understands it jimmy's great because he knows like what people in the audience want to hear more than I do. Like so I, the out I, front know, kind of guy, the yeah, backstage he, kind of guy, he's and a then good, you're in the middle. It, well, he's a meter for like, ah, people are going to think that's stupid. He knows, like for some reason, that's just what he does. It's one of my OCD things. <laughs> yeah, and that, that's really great. And, and I feel like my stuff, so I'm always just wacky. I'm like, ah, try this, try this, try that. I don't know what, you know what I mean? So that's, and between the three of us, it seems to filter into something that makes sense. So is, is it a case of you throw stuff at a wall, see what sticks? Now, B, BJ's usually good at putting a kibosh on something right away. He knows. After after we get it, after we put it through and get it done, he'll say, no. Nah. Right. And then we, did that. we did that with a bunch of songs on Forever. We, we canned them because they just weren't up to par with the other ones. I mean, that's... I mean, so, we, we could try and try and try to fix something, and, and then at the end, it's still not going to, you know. Right. Well, the problem is, yeah, because I mean, you, you're going to overproduce the track. Right. Yeah, right. And you overthink it, and then yeah, you start, exactly. you know, you yeah, so we, we have a saying at home you can't polish a turd. Oh, yeah, we have the same <laughs> saying here, trust me. <laughs> you can put so. lipstick on a pig, it's still a pig. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you ever heard that one? The mouth, no. mouth, the whole soul. You never know. <laughs> <laughs> But to answer your question too, is we've done a lot of albums with a lot of different artists, yeah. and we've been told over the years, don't do this, do this here. Right. So we have a lot of experience yeah. with that, and hopefully, it comes out as a cohesive record, and it's not all over the place. And are those other right. artists? Then come on, I mean, you guys work as a well-polished unit, nice little machine. Out of the other artists, there's got to be some real assholes. Some assholes? Yeah. <laughs> That's a tough one to That's answer. A hard question to answer. That's yeah, I mean, it's it's more about people are particular more than assholes. You know what I mean? Like, I don't feel like people are asking okay. you to do something, you know, like... Uh, You've never had somebody people... do the, the, the full-on diva strop on you saying, you didn't play that as the record, and I'm fucking going. Yeah, but the, <laughs> the thing is, too, you got to take into account that a lot of this is sometimes based on insecurity for people. It's not really directed at us. It's from them. Yeah. yeah. So we could take it as, like, we don't take that personally. You know what I mean? No. And that's that's usually what That's it the is. mark of a true professional. Then. Yeah. Not me. I go around right on <laughs> <laughs> I'm always ready to go, what? Jimmy's crying in On the, the phone, Triple H. Yeah, no, you kick his ass. Yeah, it, it, you, you must have had, so, between you, collectively, some of the most bizarre experiences of any musicians well, in the world. Oh, your, yeah. your favorite, David Wayne. You know, oh yeah! Favorite, I mean, me and BJ. I mean, we we got stories about David Wayne, man. I'll just well, like, you know, you know how much 
I, I admired that guy. Yeah. <laughs> you know, ma- as everyone knows, I'm a massive David Wayne fan. Yeah, I know, but it's just, you, you wouldn't put, you, <laughs> when, you, when you listen to him on record and you knew him as a, as a real person, you wouldn't believe it. So people have their funny ways, man. Yeah. It's just really, yeah. Yeah. He was a great guy, though, David. Yeah, was, he was He was super, he was super a real nice deal. guy. There's, there's a good saying, there's no sane men on the tops of mountains. And that's how it is in, in music, absolutely. Anybody out there doing it that's still doing it, I mean, you know, I guess we're in that category too, is not fully correct in the head. <laughs> so we expect That's it, pretty much the know? same like with presenters as well, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go with that, I'll go with that. If, if we were sane, if we were all properly in the normal category, this world would be so boring. That's yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. You know, we, we can't account for the human condition either. That's the thing. It, there's, there's too much wanting people to be normal and conform right and this is where max explosion takes it away you're not conforming to the regular it's it's nice for us not to have to be sidemen yeah in, in yeah. one thing that that's really the difference for yeah. us that that's how i look at it is that okay we can do this how we want to the and thing if people like it then that's fucking awesome the yeah. thing that we noticed <laughs> about max just because and, and i we just kind of noticed it because of where we're from how good you know when we, when we play. You know when you play out and you're when you're you're, you're playing local bands. Like, yeah, you know, like yeah, we play in, we'll play in cover bands. You know when we're not uh, well, when we're not touring mm-hmm. or whatever. You know just to make money. But when Max started and the CD was re- uh, came out, uh, we started to see followers following the band and consistently get bigger and bigger. People singing the songs in the audience. That was yeah, you're right. And yeah, and that's, so that's that crazy. was like. To me, that was the first time of anything that I played locally, uh, where I I noticed like people were starting to get fans and and they're knowing our song. When you see a pe- when you see your fans sit, wanting to hear, I mean, we mix a couple cover songs, u- unique cover songs, into our okay. set when we have to play a whole night. Things that other bands don't do. Right. Um, but when you uh, when you see the people singing your songs that you wrote. Uh, something's going right. Yeah, something's going right where they where they want to hear them, and then at the end there's a massive applause. Like you know, you know, in in over in the states, a lot of it's times bands that play original place. music when your mix covers original music when the original song is over, you hear if you're lucky. Yeah, yeah. people see at the bar it's getting really their drinks, yeah, yeah, yeah. or in the bathroom or outside smoking. I mean, we get we get a good roar after we play our original songs. You I'm know, very it's like, thankful for that. It's going like to say something to you then, isn't it? We have a very nice fan base at home where we're from. It's it's really great. They're yeah, all great absolutely. people. And, and now you're expanding into Europe, and people are taking you on board and thinking, "Holy shit! Here's another great project coming out of the Jimmy Bell, the VJ, uh, and, and the." Uh, well, it's the it's, it's about time we had another new American band. Another because all we have is uh, Scandinavian bands. Yeah. Oh, yes, yes. No, what I'm saying all is I have some... All yesterday was Scandinavian that's band. A, that's yeah. all I seem to have had on the show for the last, well, I don't know, Six, months. Weeks, well, yeah. I, no, I have a theory about that too, and that's because the weather is so shitty there and it's dark half the year. They no, have we time the, to get good. We got the inside track you know? on it yesterday. The government paid them to practice. That's right. I remember talking yeah. to them there about that yeah, too. Yeah, we, we knew <laughs> I know. We should freaking do that. Serious, man. I mean... Really? If the, if you're yeah, they, they pay half the, their half their practice costs. Costs. Transportation. Yeah, they, costs. they all have the kids that have music schools they can go to and academies. Ah. And, and what's his face in San Copenhagen? That the, they actually get tax breaks for yeah. supplying entertainment and stuff like that. It's it really cool. And and and, the, and there's only nine million people in Sweden, for example, and what was it, fifteen million in Denmark. Yeah. You come to the UK, there's 70 million people here. Right, right. And half of them think they're fucking drum and bass bloody producers. Right, right. Right. You know, in 303 million people in the USA, in the continental USA, uh, and half of them think they're Snoop Dogg. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yes, absolutely. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that is, that's, that's one of the things that's difficult, too. There are so many bands. The technology has gotten so much cheaper. Instruments have gotten so much cheaper that everybody could be a band. Mm. So what happens is it sort of, I wouldn't say it devalues the, the status quo of what music is, but it's sort of, you know, there's a lot for, like, we're all trained professionals. We've done this for a really long time, and it's like, we hope that that'll mean something. You know, so it's, it's hard to weed through that and stuff, and it's, it's really awesome to see that people still care about a good, well-constructed song. Right. We're not up there just, like, jerking off. We're like trying to write good songs and trying to put that on. It's cool to see that people still appreciate. Do you have that. tornadoes there? No, we don't get tornadoes. No, we okay, just get good. stupid wind. It's all right. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready for this trailer to go pick it up. <laughs> yeah. and it's gonna be like uh, the Wizard of Oz. I'm gonna wind up in uh, 
you know, oh those are God. Oslan. Uh, well, obviously, or, I'm going to Ozzy's house, maybe. I don't know. Obviously, good. I'm going to bring up what uh, what I'm seriously looking forward to uh, this evening, which of course is House of Lords. It is a tick off my bucket list. Finally, I get to see House of Lords, which yeah, is a big you deal. You've been saying you you never got to see him. Nope. And I bought the first album. I got it on. Uh, well, good old vinyl, and I managed to get a. It was like um, a promo copy. There used to be shops up in London, record shops. You could go and buy a promo copy like a week before the release. Right. Yeah. Then someone would you know, quietly sell it off, and I remember coming back to my local pub and brandishing his album. I was like, "Fuck! You got the House of Lords album? Unbelievable!" And wow. been a fan ever since. So oh, that's, oh, that's, that's great. awesome. Yeah. So cool. you know, to find you, I mean, this is. As I've, as I've said many times, this is one of the main reasons I came up this weekend. Oh, that's great. Uh, yeah, well, that's really cool. Uh, that's, 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 that's me being honest. You know, no BS. So it's it's going to be fantastic. And obviously, you guys with the new album as well. Yeah, how do you like the new album? Yeah. It's getting great reviews. It is getting great reviews. Well, so it should. I was just going to say, justifiably so. Yeah, I mean, uh, people because, are you know, really liking it. You know, there was, there was a lull in the band, obviously, some albums ago. And then obviously, you know, you guys got more and more involved, and that level's gone up and up and up with every album. Yeah, it's, well, we've been slowly trying to change things. We don't want to take it away from what what it was because it was great what it was. Absolutely, Sahara and all that. Just, I mean, we grew I up. I was a big fan of that when I was yeah, a kid. Demons was Down record, and, you know. So. Yeah, yeah. You know, we want to have our own little stamp on it, and we want to, you know. So when James had us do. The, the, the first one, World Upside Down, you know, we were like, we didn't even know it was a House of Lords record, first of all. Okay. We thought it was going to be like a James Christian solo CD. Right. So, you know, we're writing songs and, you know, sending them off to him, the usual thing, like Jimmy told you, that, you know, that for 10 songs, you know, maybe we'll send 20, you know. But next thing you know, he says, oh, it's going to be a House of Lords CD. And we're like, Hold on! Wait a minute. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, want to send these songs back? <laughs> yeah. Let's just give those a little spit and polish. But you know, it all worked out, and then we just went from there, and, and and little by little by little, we've been making it more guitar oriented. Yeah. And we took something we consciously, as a band, with, with James and Jimmy and myself and Chris, we, we talk about because you know, obviously, Craig Jeffrey is no longer. In the band, mm. it's kind of strange too. It's like that that one record, man. I still every time we play, someone bring like when I'm talking to Anya. I even like when we were in uh, in Newcastle or wherever we, where we were. Someone brought that up to me. You know, it's like they go, "Oh, that Power to Myth record." It's like wow. Well, it's like people will still hey, bring you know that. What? You know, there's here, still here, some good songs on that here record. It is. Oh, yeah. here, it's the the thing that we, that album. You know, I I think the reason a lot of critics have ever trashed it is because. To me, it's not a House of Lords album. I know it sounds weird. It's a good album, but it's not a House of Lords album. It's not what you would expect. No. So I think when World Upside Down came out, I think initially it was a little bit of a unease, maybe, with people saying, well, where's this going? And then suddenly, bang. It's like, oh, hello. Yeah. Shit, this is good. Yeah. A little, it's, just, it's a little more straightforward. But you know, those guys, Ken, Mary, and, and Chuck, and yeah. Randy, I mean, those guys are great. Yeah. I mean... I think they. I think more of the people were shocked because those the original members were still in the band and they did that record more than well, that, it being a bad. I, here's you know. what happens. This is what happens. You have a band for so long, and then the bands obviously they stop playing for a while. Yeah. And then you get back together. Well, your musical vocabulary changes. Everything changes. You've been away from each other for ten years. You come back. All of a sudden, what you were into twenty five years ago. You're not into it anymore. Shifting, You're doing yeah. something else. So, you know, I almost feel bad when I hear them getting beat up about that album because I'm sure they all put their blood, sweat, and tears into that. Absolutely. It's just not with the with the with the melodic rock crowd wanted to have. I care. think the problem you've got is that certain music fans, all they want is that first album again and again, again and again. Absolutely. Yeah. They they suddenly hate it when their band progresses. Right. 
Exactly. It's like I, I this is this is this is ours. This is our little <laughs> our little band, and we don't want them to change. Right. And that's that's the problem. Any band's going to be up against. And I, I have to give House of Lord the original members of House of Lord a lot of credit for Power and the Myth because if you look at what was going on in music, yeah, they tried to bring that into what House of Lords is, right? Which is that's like the opposite of what House of Lords is. So yeah. they tried to do something with it to keep and the band going. That's yeah. Stuff like I that. That, that, that was I mean, American music. Deal obviously, going I can on, see you how know? It, you know people were either confused or whatever by it, but still, I mean that's still a pretty big undertaking and I think it's cool they tried I really do absolutely no I totally agree and, and sometimes the paying public think they're paying for the privilege of keeping you in that little hole yeah. Where, yeah. where they found you yeah yeah and, and you guys as musicians have are naturally gonna want to say well we want to do this better we want to do that bigger we want to do this louder we want to, whatever and sometimes people get out of their pram they, they get out of their, they check that they throw their you know toys out of the, out of the bath and everything and it's why do people feel precious about you guys wanting to move on? I mean, I don't understand. Well, that's... The, not people to, don't like change, right? Yeah, no, of course. I mean, exactly. But I mean, it, not to always bring it back to Max Explosion, but we just try to have the, the most pristine and best hole. <laughs> <laughs> Bleached <laughs> and clean. You <laughs> and shaved. Thank you. Shaved. I mean, we really we want to have a hole that we can live in. Okay, okay. No, but, <laughs> you, you know... But you got, you can, can ask I, a question. Are you doing... Are you doing an album to appease the fans? Are you doing an album to appease the critics? Or are you doing an album because you enjoy doing it? And you that's to, I think you have to do all. Three and you balance. have to do all. You have to somehow combine right. all three. It's a you really do. It's it's not. If you're just doing it by yourself, it's probably going to be so bizarre that no one's going to get it. Or at least that's in my case. If you're trying just to please the fans, they're going to know. If you're not being real, they're going to know. Yeah. So People it's can like, see through it. Exactly. Yeah. But at the same time, like, you know, we want to be able to go tour. We want to be able to play. We want to be able to sell records. It's our livelihood. So it's the kind of thing. It really is. It has to balance that somehow. Like, that's, you know. The, the response at the, well, on the Max record is great. It really is. It really, really, the Max Explosion record is really, I mean, it's n not to say that we didn't feel confident in it at all, but it, it just kind of surprised us, you know, that it did. Uh, it, we kind of went, wow, you know, and I, just because, we, here's the thing, we had that, we did that whole record, it was all recorded, all done, and then, uh, you know, we were going to, uh, you know, shop it around and release it or whatever, and, uh, you know, what, whatever we were going to do with it, you know, but it was all ready to go, it was all set, mm -hmm. all set and done, and I, I pretty much, you know, you, you know, John, you know, yeah. I, call, I just, you know. Well, hold on, it wasn't well, all I, set, well, I musically was, it was done. And he, he had to go nuts putting the artwork and all that. Oh, oh, yeah, well, the music I mean, part, I was, not the uh, not the artwork. I mean, we, but I mean, we. Chris literally. I mean, Chris does that. He's done Doc and album covers. He does, he's done a lot of people's album covers. So he does all that stuff too. So, like we said once again, self-contained unit. Yeah, we, we do everything. Well, Chris does a lot. Well, I was hassling, I was hassling John no for a track before the album. I was like, come on, I've got to hear something. I've got to hear this. Yeah, yeah. The bastard wouldn't get, wouldn't send me a track. Well, you know, <laughs> John, who's that, Kevin? Yeah, yeah. Yes. really. Uh, yeah, he we'll said, have to lay the smack down when we get back. Yeah, yeah. He's gonna, I can't do people. that. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna. John's gonna get the clothesline. <laughs> yeah, do and it. Then the Undertaker, the pile driver. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna, do, I'm yeah, gonna yeah, yeah. put the figure four leg lock on him. Are you going to WrestleMania this year? What's that? Are you going to WrestleMania this year? No. It's done in New Orleans. Is it really? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no. If you if you get me a ticket, I'll go down with you. Let we should play it. down there, dude. I love I would play love that. Artists. That'd be great. I, I, re I reckon I reckon Vince would, would if you you wrote some stuff uh, and made it a wrestler's theme. Well, I didn't. No, no. Hold on, now. I I do not write any of the wrestlers' music. That's yeah, Jim Johnson writes it all. But if I, yeah, I just play on it. You'd do it, wouldn't he? You know, you, you, you're a mainstream band now. Let's get this right. And they use mainstream bands. A max explosion with your connections could just go. Phew. Well, I mean, there's there's a few songs that I, I can like picture. That. You're hired. <laughs> I, I, there's a few songs that I picture like uh, some wrestlers could really walk to the ring I, with I, and yeah, stuff. Yeah, I've heard the stomping. I've seen the stomping. Stuff, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, also uh, with Max, the the thing that we're getting off on right now is the uh, power trio thing, mm -hmm. which is uh, economically that's a really good way. Yeah, to, to it, make it, it, work. it works so so well and uh you know we we you know we uh tried it different ways but it ended up being like you know the three of us were just in sync you know we tried well, it we've done so much together yeah yeah we done it, it just didn't work with another person so we uh we just kept it a trio and it's just like a really it <laughs> seemed like that's when the band really started i don't have to look at the back of james's ass <laughs> <laughs> Not fun. No, no. Robin, it's a little better. But... <laughs> 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 we, 
mean, you, you forget that Robin's so tiny. I mean, but you see, probably, you're, playing, this, you're not is, blowing her off the stage. Is this the reason oh, we that, that, that we have the facial expressions? Is this why it is? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, sometimes it's like, oh. <laughs> do Don't turn around because I got a bad one. <laughs> don't, don't, don't forget, he's still writing the checks. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But James knows it's all about. No, of well. course. Yeah, he James knows is really cool. And I have to, I definitely have to like thank him a lot. He's been very supportive of Max Explosion, and yeah, yes. One of the main reasons for that is like what he said is that it's helped make House of Lords sound better because we play so much. Yeah, Max Explosion. And well, he's going to get might hear that you, you know, he? tonight. Yes, he that, does. It's it's pretty. He's good. behind us. I was yeah. just gonna say. He used to be the other way around. Yeah, yeah. He's He'd be like, "Boys, that's wrong. This is wrong." We'd be like, yeah. "Oh, jeez. Yeah. You know, all right, what's going on? Let's you know. change that around." And now it's the other way around. He comes, <laughs> "Oh my God, it sounds like a TV." That's what he said. We we did the melodic rock fest, and we were so prepared for him. Yeah. He had to turn around and tell me to stop. You gotta stop. Just stop. I need to get a breath. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're plowing songs. Yeah, boom, 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 after yeah. Bang, bang, bang. Song. Does that worry song. him? Do you think? What's that? Does it worry him? Because we you know none of us no, get younger. No, 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 no. It doesn't worry. No, him. House he, of Lords has a whole legacy of its he, own. He, he, a, he was you know? just, he was just not in gig shape mm. because we've been playing and playing yeah. and playing. Yeah, and, yeah. You know, He's been in his studio doing Robin's record. And of course he did his own. His own record, yeah. exactly. So studio singing and live singing are two oh, different yeah. things. Absolutely different. So when he got with us, we've been playing for a year now. Yeah. Every day almost. Yeah, a lot. And, 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 and so we're like a well You're at that machine. level. Yeah, he's, yeah. He's got to try and raise. So he was just like, guys, stop. <laughs> we actually, we actually even uh, when we do the longer shows, we actually play some, so many. And we, even, in fact, we... We play the older House of Lords songs, the so songs we didn't even write. Yeah. Like, we'll play some of the classic ones as, as you know, throw them in there as in... Uh, yeah, back in the States, sometimes you have to do three sets. Yeah, yeah. Right. So, that's a lot of material. Just, we only have one album. Four, yeah. 45 minutes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I mean, yeah, and it's good for us. Yeah, a little longer shape sometimes. That yeah, that's why when we started, when we when we got back, you know, we started doing the, the shows with James, you know, we're playing... All the old songs, and like he's looking at us, like going, "Holy, cr you know, holy crap! These guys are like we're we're banging them out, like you know, like we've been practicing." Which was the truth. We were and, practicing and the other thing the whole time. too that, that you're asking about with the the songwriting thing is that it allows us to try things live, and it's right. not so high pressure over there when we're playing all night. Okay, we can throw something in, and I would always record us, and I go listen. I'm like, you know, I'll go back and listen to what's what's working, what's not working, and we go, okay, this song sounds really good, so maybe we should arrange this song we're working on that way because we know that works people really like that okay we can it's it's not hard for us to take a song that we like and we've written and produce it a certain way right that's more where we flex on things is trying to make it you know swallowable for people swallowable i like that word yeah this is going to be some lady swallowable <laughs> i don't know what you're talking about <laughs> you, you pr probably wouldn't know no uh, yeah I, i'm the same i'm, the I'm same. just psyched about calling the next record precious hole yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, can I, uh, look, on, on that I've subject, imagined the artwork already. <laughs> <laughs> on that subject, I will let you in on a, a bit of a secret. I was I was preparing to come up here yesterday in the shower, shaving my face. Do we want to hear I this? Thought, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's quite just, funny. Just, okay. <laughs> I thought I'll shave my balls. I cut myself. Oh no. I've got a big razor cut from there down there. It like was, I said, do we really want to hear this? Well, you've heard it now. Okay. <laughs> There's no going Think back. Think yourself lucky. I've already heard this story. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> I literally sliced my testicle sack. Oh, no. And it bled like a bitch. Well, here, have some more wine. That'll take care of it right there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh, do you, do you, uh, what, 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 what about your uh, sort of on-the-road beauty tips then, guys? I mean, you <laughs> Well, I, what, what do you on missed the road, out on? You, is you this because out. you're going to be a singer, so you have to... <laughs> yeah, yeah i got to know this. Where are you going with this? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, Jimmy, show them. Yeah, well, you missed that. You missed Jimmy. So, uh, if you'd seen him preparing wait, wait, the toe pre of his beard, oh, oh, yeah, it was it was, beard. it was it was phenomenal. I, I I don't use a hair dryer on my hair. I use a hair dryer on my beard. I blow dry my beard straight because if I don't, my beard flies out like this. So I have to blow dry it with a comb. I comb it like. Do you know who we should Dan witness this? Oh, that's epic! Let's that's, see, what do you got? That, that photo, of, that photo's of, gonna accompany us. <laughs> yeah, it's a picture of Jimmy blow drying and combing his beard full speed. I love it. Very nice. <laughs> very nice. Do, you, do you know who? Uh, you've heard you know, of a band? Called, you've heard of a band called Wizard from the UK, nineteen yeah. yeah. seventies? Yeah, 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 yeah. Totally. If if we had Roy Wood in here and put them, ne put Jimmy and Roy next. Oh. To 
It'd be like two book games. It would. Yeah. He's he's all white with the facial hair, the same thing. You it would be like zinc yin and yang. It really? Would be, yeah. yeah, yeah. You are the young Roy Wood. I, how about Ron Wood? <laughs> <laughs> I'd like yeah. to have his money. Mm, well there we go. Uh, US politics, guys. Can we do this quickly? Do we have to? Do you not do politics? I'm not I don't know anything about politics. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I, here, here's the problem with the at least in the states is that the, it's different. Like I love the BBC news, like the BBC, CNN, and stuff. Anyway. Well, yeah, but in the states, it's it's even, even more candy coated. Yeah. It's it's awful. It's very hard. To, and the the hard thing I, I see with politics over there is that you just it's impossible to see the whole picture. Yeah. It's impossible to form a, a solid opinion about something when you just don't know everything about it. We're only known. We, we can only see what they show us. How are you supposed to form an opinion on that? Okay. You know, it's it's so it's difficult to really, you know, get too strong about it. In my opinion, music has, has, has definitely formed political opinion across the USA. I mean, yes. Look, look at look at the uh, the guys at Rage Against the Machine. Yes. Of course. Uh, look at uh, people like Queensrÿche and, and and the classic albums. You know. Yeah. Uh, conspiracy theories then sort of latch on and say that's our song. Do you find that maybe? Conspiracy theorist, your Alex Joneses, for example, on GCN Network, or your John Kibbles. Yeah, jo yeah, John. Kibbles. <laughs> uh, Rush Limbaugh, for example. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if he's is he still going. Yeah, he is. Rush is still going. He's still on. Cool. I think uh, and you, Howard Stern, who does the extreme end of it, but yeah. still pulls in the politics. Uh, do you feel that maybe uh, Max Explosion music could be the soundtrack to something? If we could help it, we wouldn't want anything to do with about it. Brilliant answer. Brilliant answer. I mean, stay away. We're 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 not we're about trying to change. We're we're entertainment. Exactly. We want it. We're we're Max Explosion is about having a good time. See some tips. Yeah. Well, no, it's not, it's, not, it's, not, it's not necessarily unintelligent either. No, it's, it's not. just that it's we're saying. not we're not trying to be clever. We're not trying to save the world. We know what we are. And if somebody picked you know, up a song of yours and said, "This is the band. This is what, this is the lyric," and, and we're we're putting it on this cause, what would you do? What could you do? Well. Tell them. It depends what the cause was, I would guess. And I really don't think it would happen because the, the way our lyric content is, it, it, it isn't. No, I know what you mean. It's not, you know, we, we yeah, consciously, we don't want to say, look, I'm all about saving the whales, but I don't think it's our place as entertainers to, tell other people. to be preaching to people right. about what to right. do and all that. I mean, it's up to you. You want to go, you know. Save a movie somewhere. Go ahead. I mean, it's, it. it's, you know it's I mean? very nice to think that we're in a kind of position that's influential that way, but I don't. You know, we're we're entertainers. Or so, it, I mean, originally I started writing lyrics. I started. I wrote all the songs about my crank. <laughs> <laughs> that's how. I, that's how we started out. You know what I mean? So it's like if you want to attach your sure political sure agenda sure to point. that, then be my guest. Sure the whole point of a rock music, whatever, for me, is to get away from all that shit. That's anyway. exactly right. It's exactly escapism right. at the highest exactly. level. Exactly. When I was right. a kid growing up, we were, my family was poor. We didn't have a lot of money. It was all about putting on the headphones and listening to the Who and like, yeah, keep yeah, going, you get to rock right. and roll. I didn't want to study. I didn't want to do any of that. And the shit. thing is, Pete Townsend's you know? lyrics are very intelligent a lot of the time. So it's sort of like, yeah, cool. It doesn't mean it has to be stupid. No. And we're not out to be stupid. We're not stupid people all the time. No, but there's a... <laughs> <laughs> not all of us are stupid. No, it's Jimmy sort of blanking over there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> hey, oh, I never heard you. Oh, why did you guys get here? <laughs> it's guys, a time and a place for everybody. Absolutely, absolutely. But well, Dan's got a dash. Unfortunately, I'm going to speak to some other people because otherwise, I know we'd probably, we'll probably chat for. He's got a much bigger name than the other trailer. Fish yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm going to go, go and have a chat with Ty Keto now. So. Are you? Yeah, yeah. Oh, are you name dropping by Jimmy? Why don't yeah, you yeah. go with him? Just I should. I'm going to go. All day. So, Danny, Danny, <laughs> Danny, where's your wife? <laughs> Danny, how are you? <laughs> 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 I'm only kidding. It's only a joke. No, it's fine. It's just going to my radio. she's like a raw. She like she like thanked me. Uh, for somebody, she thought that she thought that that comment was so nice that I made about how uh, I, I uh, about make, bringing into reality what musicians have to do to survive to make you know uh, yeah. make their make a living to support a family and stuff like that you know because I think she was you know she gets she says Danny gets you know uh, well I'll tell you what I mean like about doing the Eagles tribute thing and stuff but like that. I'll tell you what I mean I have seen his Eagles tribute band 
and Jesus hates Christ. They are good. I heard. They are. I mean, they are go. past good. They are. Yeah. Hey, so they are phenomenal. I, I, anything you Danny would, Vine six you know, is going to be amazing. You, you, you would. You would. You know, they. In some aspects, you think they're actually better than the original. Yeah. Wow. I mean, they That's are. Cool. They. Are, they blew me away. Well, I mean, him. I was That's expecting great. them to be good, but. They were they were way up. It's just a matter level. of you know the the fans you know are, are think differently. You know they don't realize that you know that the music doesn't carry everything. You know you have to do if you're in the music business to be in the music business. If, if you're not like a, a, a mechanic or or uh, or lawyer or something else and a musician. You got to be a musician full time. You yeah. got to do what it takes to survive during your downtime. My 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 good friend Davey Patterson, he's uh sings with Robert Trower. Okay, he told me a long time ago. He says if you're making money and making a living in the music business, no matter how you're doing it, you know whether it be playing covers, whether it be you know being a backup musician uh, for a Las Vegas show, yeah, uh, you're successful. Yeah. And that's all there is to it. You There's know. so many people that want to do it as well. Yeah. Competition is high. And anybody that's going to give somebody a hard time for going out and trying to earn money to support his family, that's just ridiculous. That well, is. You're not giving the guy his fair chop. That's right. It's just... Definitely. I, I, I would love to make money out of doing the radio show. And now and again, I get spot sponsors like Jameson's Irish Whiskey, for example, that was the other week. And Love Honey, the sexual toy company and everything. I've done the whole thing. Don't laugh, Chris. <laughs> I didn't say anything. It was like, it was like beer it. and dildos. It was, <laughs> Did I you bring know. one? <laughs> what, beer or dildo? Well, I don't know. Well, look at that. They go, yeah. <laughs> um, and it's great. Sometimes you get paid, and I got lovely sponsors from from all around, and they give me money now and again. But it's not enough to support family, right? No. So I've got a I got a day job too. Yeah, you know I work in the school. Which literally, there's nothing the wrong road. with that either. Yeah, I work but. in the school over the road from the house. Right. Um. So I don't use the car. I save money that way. I shag some teachers. It's great fun. <laughs> it's nice. Guys like Jimmy and I, we don't know how to do anything else. So. Okay, Dan's got to go. All Danny, right. right, Dan, thank you so much. Guys, you. I'll tell you what, it's been an absolute blast. Jimmy, as you know, it's been yeah, this is great. It's, it's, we've, the we've finally meet up. We it's, have to have the photo. And we didn't create a black hole, so everything's good. Yeah, yeah, everything's fine. We're gonna have this photo. Hey, photo. Yeah, we're, we're gonna do it now. Uh, we're gonna do it later. We'll do, we'll, we'll, we'll do it later. We'll do it later. Do it later. We'll do it later. Yeah, yeah, we're we'll yeah, yeah. dressed up and stuff. We'll you're gonna be, you're gonna be on the stage dress, right? Yeah, yeah. We're doing Do you mind? Huh? Do you mind? No, no, come yeah, on. We'll dress, we'll, 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 if, if we don't, if, if we don't have, uh, if, if the security doesn't care if you guys are hanging no, out, that's we're good. good. We're good. good. Yeah. If, you, if you let Thomas know that we can do that, then that's absolutely, of course, it's going to happen. Nothing. Thank you very much, guys. Yeah. Thank you, Danny. And I uh, can't you. wait to see you guys. Give her a love to Danny Vaughn. I will do. <laughs>